even in situation that social differentiation matters okay so in cases where you have um, ethnic diversity and the incidence of a, a, a dominant ethnic group the, the chances of benefits being shared or distributed in an inequitable manner are very high, okay? And that's because, just very simple, that's because the dominant group usually exerts its influence and its political clout, yeah, and captures a much larger share of forest benefits. So the benefits get concentrated, okay? Now, there's nothing unusual about this finding. All right? These are findings that have been found you know, across time in many different settings. I think what we have shown here, though, what's unique is that we're using um, data sets that are global and showing that this is a global pattern. Okay? Now, the other thing that we found was that um, where you have a likelihood of high um, inequality, in assets, okay, both land and non-land assets. Again, you have a, a much higher likelihood that people or user groups, yeah, will say that they perceive uh, low levels of tenure security. Okay, so real quick, where you have high inequalities with regards to forest and non-forest, land and non-land assets, it's highly likely that um, uh, people will say that they feel that um, their tenure and rights are insecure. Now, I think the, the main thing here, I think the main story for everyone is, I think there are two main stories here. One is um, that even though rights can be secure, yeah, um, or, you know, all these efforts at clarifying rights, which I think are good efforts. Um, but it's important that policymakers realize that this is an important step, but there's a little bit more that needs to be done, especially within the group. Okay, we do know that not everybody is the same, isn't it? Some people are more powerful than others. Others come from different ethnic groups. Others are gender differentiated. You know, they're men and they're women. And they all come with different um, kinds of uh, capabilities and also with different flaws. And so I think the, the main point here is that when coming up with benefit sharing arrangements, I think it is really important to pay attention to how um, people are different in society, okay? Because if you pay attention to that and try and think about ways of mitigating the inequalities, then you're more likely to end up with more equitable distribution of benefits. So coming in and being conscious that society is differentiated coming in and being conscious that communities are differentiated, okay? And some of these differentiations confer power on some, mostly the elites, and then they make others even more vulnerable and remove the power from them. And the minute you have these kinds of imbalances in society, then even the benefit sharing arrangements that you're bringing will take the same pattern. And what you must do then is to try and break that pattern by being conscious, by um, careful targeting, so that you're targeting women, uh -huh, you're targeting indigenous communities, and targeting those who have much less power and clout.